Hey, this is Pete from Abstract Ocean. This is just kind of a follow-up video on our tweet or X post a couple of weeks ago where our Cybertruck just died on the driveway. Still had a charge. We were just washing it, getting ready for a wrap and just could not access it through the mobile app. A card would not open the truck either. Um, and it turns out that this is a known issue. According to Tesla, and the time recording right now is the 2nd of June, 2024. Um, it's a known firmware issue that affects a, their words, very small minority of Cybertrucks currently on the road. So I don't know whether that means one or a hundred or a thousand, um, but it certainly affected us and this is their workaround should this happen to us again. So I just want, kind of wanted to go over the process just in case this is of use to someone else. We were sort of lucky that the thing died on the drive and not you know, on a road trip. Um, but the net of it is there's a sync issue on the, um, on the power harness. And what I'm gonna show you now is how to do essentially a master reset of that so that it resyncs. So the first thing we had to do at least was to get into the front to get to the service panel. So to do that, there's a little rubber um, gasket under here that you need to grab. <clears throat> and tied to that are a couple of jump cables. Kind of have to pull on things a little bit to get it released. So um, as always when, you know, uh, we just use a little USB jump charger, 12 volts was enough, I believe there's a chance you could do it with a nine volt battery if you're really stuck, but um, either way, 12 volts was enough to pop the frunk. Now I'm told that if your truck is locked, then it won't pop the frunk because obviously anyone can walk along with a, a battery and get into your frunk otherwise. So the truck does need to be unlocked, just non-functional, which is what ours was. So once we've got the frunk opened, this is the service panel. So you need to pop this off, just kind of lift it. You don't need any tools really to do it. Just got to get an edge up. So in here, you've got the 48 volt low voltage connector and then the high voltage connector here. The way to do a master reset is to disconnect this first, the light blue, then disconnect this, the red, which is the high voltage. Wait five minutes, then reverse procedure. Connect to the high voltage, connect the low voltage. And the service center said that's all they did eventually to get into the trunk, so obviously it worked for them. I'm not gonna recreate that right now because the thing's running and I don't wanna screw it up again, but if you happen to be on the side of a road or just broken down somewhere, then that's how you do a master reset of the electrical subsystems, and that should resync it. Hope this is of use to someone. Thanks for watching.